All right, Mark, you have several development firms that are vying to develop this part of the East Riverfront. Go ahead and tell me what area we're exactly talking about in terms of development and what kind of development. Well, it's a really great opportunity. We're talking from Ford Auditorium site, just on the other side of the Rensen, mm -hmm. all the way to the Broadhead Armory site, which is just on the other side of the Belle Isle Bridge, from Larned Street, just north of Jefferson, all the way to the riverfront. So it's about 400 acres, and it goes from the Belle Isle Bridge all the way to the Rensen. So it, it's really that amazing space that connects those two areas. All right, so you're really trying to fill in now the, what you think is what is the missing piece to the riverfront, which has grown significantly over the past five to ten years. That's right. You know, what, we, what we've been waiting for for so long is momentum, and we, we finally have that momentum. It started with the construction of the Riverwalk, obviously. That set the table. It showed people how beautiful the river is. It reminded us of how significant this space is and this area of our city is to all of us. Uh, but we're also starting to see new construction come through there. So Richard Barron's project, which is 275 units at Orleans Landing, a new 175 unit apartment building going up at Harbor Town, we're starting to see some momentum that pulls people through. And you know, to layer that on top of the River Walk, which is such a wonderful place that welcomes everyone in the entire city, it's, it's really great to see those pieces start to come together. All right, so what are some of the ideas that are now floating around out there? Well, there, there are a lot of ideas. And what we've tried to do is start with the right team to help us ask the right questions. So. Yeah, everyone would like to see more entertainment, everyone would like to see more retail. We can certainly accommodate a lot of housing, but you know, we're really trying to identify a team that can help us ask the questions of how do we make this a special place that's only in Detroit. I mean, the, the river that we have is such a beautiful feature, it's such an amazing physical attribute that we really want to maximize that, build on the moment, momentum of the Ren Renaissance Center renovation, build off of the river walk momentum, and, uh, and really pull that all together. So you have to be very careful with whatever steps that you're going to be doing next. What are the, some of the concerns that you have when you're talking about developing that area? Well, the, the, the most special thing about the riverfront is that it really is that welcoming sp space. You see people from out of town. You see Detroiters who live in the King Homes and Lafayette Park. Uh, you see everyone, a lot of moms with kids. And that's what makes us special. It's really the gathering place where everyone feels that sense of belonging and that sense of pride in Detroit and pride in our city. So. As we build new stuff, we want to make sure that the folks who come down to the Riverwalk today don't feel like they're getting crowded out. And, and that's our, that's our, my number one concern is to make sure that everyone who's welcome there today knows that they're still welcome, even if there are million dollar condos going up. And, and we like to figure out how to make that a place where everyone has their own space, not just on the Riverwalk, but also in the entire district. So this isn't just the Riverfront Conservancy. You're also working with the people from the city of Detroit because this is a this is an, an urban planning initiative. I, that's right. I I, th I think Detroit will be defined by the partnerships and the collaboration that we're seeing right now today. And I'm so excited and energized by the people who have come in. Uh, a lot of them through the mayor's administration. Mayor Duggan's done a great job of pulling in folks. Maurice Cox is one of our biggest partners on this project, the city planning director, and he's amazing to work with. So it's great to have his vision. He comes to us from New Orleans. Uh, and it's great to see the Detroit Economic Growth Corporation, the DNR, you know, a lot of our partners who've been working with for years uh, and the administration obviously coming together to work on this. You said it's really important that people get input on what they'd like to see in this space. You've had that opened up to the public to say, all right, tell us what are some of your ideas. What have people have been saying? Well, people have been saying all sorts of things. And that idea of engaging the community early on in the process is really something that the Conservancy has been doing since 2003 when we were founded. We had 100 community meetings before we started building the Riverwalk, and it's great to build on that legacy. So as we're trying to engage this consulting team, we actually opened up the interviews to the public. So we had about 120, 150 people come to each one of our interviews and watch the questions that we asked and saw how we're thinking about putting this team together. So you know, the, the public has brought us all sorts of great ideas. Uh, they were very hot on the idea of doing some sort of uh, water feature, so Mount Elliott Park which is our newest, uh, newest addition to the Riverwalk, was really driven by the vision of the city. They wanted to see, the people of the city wanted to see uh, places where kids could get into the water. Uh, and some simple things too. When we started building the Riverwalk, uh, someone came to us who was in a wheelchair and he said, you know, as I'm going to the Riverwalk with my friends, I don't want to have to sit and face them while they're watching the boats go by, while they're watching the river. I want to be able to sit next to them so that we can both watch the boats. So if you come down, you see our benches, we have a little concrete pad next to each one where you can roll a wheelchair next to it. So simple things like that, very inexpensive for us to do, but really have a profound impact on how people experience the waterfront and the river. Talk to me a little bit about the timeline in terms of when you're going to be picking this next firm that's going to take this five-year plan forward. Well, we're looking forward to engaging that team sometime in the next two weeks. And then the strategic plan, we have a community survey that's out that'll be public through uh, February 25th. It's on our website, DetroitRiverfront.org. And we're really excited about that. We went to the auto show, we went to Winter Blast, 
Uh, we've gone to a lot of rec centers in the community. We're also going out to each one of the uh, district council uh, areas so that we can engage with the community where they live. And we're looking forward to that. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing the impact that comes in.